Wild dogs are most active in the early morning and in the late afternoon. And this is when the pups come out of the den, as is happening behind us. How many are in this pack? You've got uh, seven adult uh, wild dogs. Uh, so the three are still juveniles, so we've got two males and two females. So the juveniles, are they from last year's litter? Yeah, they're uh, from last year. So it's nice to see him uh, looking after his brothers and sisters. Yeah. So how old are these pups? About uh, four, four weeks old. So what's really interesting about wild dogs is that only one pair breeds, the alpha male and the alpha female, and all of the rest of the pack help raise the pups. Yeah. What's happening here is that some of the members of the pack are regurgitating their food. And the alpha female has been here at the den all day. This morning they went off and they did a kill. They've all come back now. They're keeping their food in their stomachs. And each one of them in turn will come up and feed her by regurgitating it. So what are we doing now, Do? Well, I think it's, it's time for us now to put the collar on one of those juveniles. So we'll just slowly move in uh, into a good position, get the dart in and put the collar on as fast as we can. We're collaring a young female because she'll soon leave her family to form a pack of her own and breed. As you can see, we use a very small needle. Yep. Uh, I like to use a little bob because uh, one just makes sure that the animal receives all the drug. Yep. So that the barb keeps the dart inside the skin. That's right. OK, we'll just wait till she gives us a chance now. In order to put a collar on, we have to dart her first. Off both, eh? But a small dose means a speedy recovery. Doe and JJ always put the animal's welfare first. How long is it before she goes down? It's, it's going to be about seven minutes. Uh, Roughly, it can be anything from seven to ten minutes. Well, they've moved off, but it's really important that we keep up with this female. Seems like the drug's already beginning to take effect. So she's gone down. We've got to get up close to her now. The thing about wild dogs is that with the smallest stimulation, they can get up and run off again. So if you watch Doe, you'll see this might be what's going on now. Speak your phone up. Sorry. So, Doe, why is it so important to uh, collar these animals? What are you trying to find out? Well, it's important for a reserve like this to always have track on this animal, um, to be able to follow them, you know? You can see how all the other wild dog is still just around us. They're about 20 feet away from us, just checking out what's going on. Um, there are only about 5,000 wild dogs left in the wild. They're one of the most endangered carnivores. And it's really important that whenever you get a chance to make a difference to one of their populations, that you do so. The antidote's in, she's going to get up any minute. And when she gets up, she gets up quite far. What's wrong there? That's fine. Heart rate is picking up properly. She's going to run up now. Go back to the. Just to look how they all investigate the collar now, you know, they're all checking this collar out now. What is this going on? Now Alfred will be able to follow this female. The more that can be discovered about these rare animals, the better, to ensure their survival in Africa. Good job, Doe. Yes, she just... She just you know, defecated all over me. Anxiety to get away. Not, she, um, just have a, it's those she left her mark. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. <laughs>